I'm starting to put everything back into the Jeep. The bed liners come out extremely well. I'm very, very happy with the way it came out. Bet way better than last time. Much better coverage. Even the textures kind of come out all very even. Plus the Hercule liners just adhered very well. It all just meshed together very well. First off, one thing I got to note is uh, the, the threading here, the bolt for my seat, my driver's seat. It is actually, it shouldn't be like this. It should be solid. It's actually been bent down. That's just how rusted it is under here. Let's see if we can see this without a light. It's a little disconcerting. I mean, it's just one of the four, but I, uh, I pour 15, I scrubbed out of there with a wire brush. Um, that was probably like one of the worst areas that I never got to last year and I definitely should have. And I'll be doing the, the whole undercoating for sure this year, but, uh, there's no good angle to get it, but it is down a little bit and I just covered that in pour 15. So I'm going to leave that like that for now, but I think I'm going to put some pour patch up in there. It, you can't really get a good depth perception with the camera, but I can see it from here. It's actually a little bent. And I'm going to try to push it back up and leave the pour patch in there and see if it'll just adhere like that. Otherwise, I think my other options are going to get kind of pricey because there's nothing I'd be able to do. Uh, I don't want to have to, you know, go threading a new bolt. That's what I want to do with my seat brackets that go there because none, of, actually I think just that one has threading in it and then those three got cut because they were just so rotted. Put this back on. This looked good. I painted the uh, screws for this. I, this had actually worn down here a little bit. I had pour 15 this and plastic dip this. It looked good. I gave it a bunch more plastic dip coats. The thing with plastic dip that I found is if you're going to use any amount of wear on something, just do a lot of coats. Do a lot of uh, thin coats, like five or six, seven, eight, just thin coats over and over. It really works out best for it. And I think it's going to hold up a little bit better now. I just had uh, two like half uh, cans of uh, plastic dip, and I decided, you know what? I'm just going to use them up on what I got here because there's plenty of things that could use it, and I don't want it to sit over the winter. These I painted, these, this, and these just to kind of match more. Uh, the whole black because the my screws here had gotten kind of worn down. What I used is I used Dupacolor. I've actually been using this for quite a long time. This was something I just had around the house, and I really like this stuff. This was really good. I used it on a number of, mostly I used it on touch-up, things like this, like uh, painting screws and stuff. Uh, like basically any screws or bolts I have painted, I did it with this stuff. This stuff went on two, three coats at most, and it just it looked really nice. I love the way it came out. I also used it on my seats, which I'll show you in a second, but I, I used this along with it. The Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. The stuff I used on my hardtop, I had some left over. Now this stuff sprays horribly. Basically you get one shot with this and after that the the tube seems to clog up with this stuff. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a hit or miss with me because I don't like the way it starts to spray and splitter over. That, that trouble I had with my hardtop, I wouldn't do something like that again. But the thing I did like it for was for um, larger like uh, Torx head screws like these. Like just see here, I got like the textured here, and if you look at my front bumper, I used them on that, and it actually goes unbelievably well. Like this was uh, not this color before. It goes unbelievably well with the powder coating or uh, bed lining. It just matches so nice, and it really protects it well. So in that sense, it works, but it's like the aerosol can itself seems to have problems if you're not going to use the whole thing in a day. Like that can over there still has uh, some left in it, but I can't make it spray properly. I'm serious. Like it won't. It splutters all over the place. It's impossible to control. So. I like it. I'd actually probably get it again, but only if I was going to do a project where I had a lot of things going. Uh, another thing I did, little, because this is all just little bits and pieces I want to make note of. These things were things I bought a while back. I don't know if I ever made a video saying I got these, but these were uh, replacement floor plugs for Jeep TJ and I think YJ too. These fit YJs because I didn't have these uh, this longer styled one. I had some of the rubber ones here, but I I think, yeah, I'd lost these. I remember now. I'd lost these because uh, these... Uh, Someone had like glued it in here. God, that was awful. That was so stupid. Um, so I got replacements of these, but they were silver in the middle. All I did was end up just sanding them a little bit, and I used that dupli color. And I ended up hitting these just uh, two or three coats. They look good. If I had any more of the truck bed coating to give it the the rugged texture to match this, I would. But honestly, they just they're just being black and just even uh, coating in like that, just seamlessly going together looks really good. Then I had uh, broken out my pour 15 jar. This is the pour 15 I had back last summer. I had uh, used a lot of the gallon I bought and I put the rest in here. And this lasted pretty good for a while. I had a uh, glad wrap over it. I had the seal sealed tight. And the thing is, over time it starts to make like a thin layer that you can then break and then get to. But the less I had, the less and less in the jar I had, the more the layer would actually harden up and then like reach to the bottom more and it would just harden the whole thing. So I ended up taking a knife and I actually <laughs> cut straight through the thing. So I was like, well, 
today's the day I'm going to use the rest of this stuff up because it's old anyways. I've been I've been coming back to it occasionally throughout the year, you know, opening it, taking a little bit, and then and I kind of wasted a little bit doing it that way, but it just kind of worked out well. And I, I painted all the threading for my seat bolts, my tail light screws, and my fender flare uh, screws that I have here. So I won't have to worry about those getting rusty anymore because I didn't want uh, anything happening. These, especially the seat ones, I, I don't need those rusting out on me. And I just ended up uh, trying to get some out of there. It's a real pain. You can't really see in there, but it's a mess. Um, I poured some into that, got everything out that I could. It's At this point, it's basically dry. There's nothing left, but it lasts me pretty long. I, I The thing about Port 15 is it does uh, go quick, so if you're not using it all at, this, all at once, you're probably going to end up losing some. But uh, it's pretty good stuff. If you're doing, you know, stuff with rust, if you want to protect anything with rust, I like the stuff. I already bought another gallon that I'll be using to do my coating for my Jeep and for the uh, YJ. Also with the 415, I did these right here, my seat belts, which I want to paint because just like with the seats, I had, I had someone taking that crap yellow paint. I don't know what they were thinking with this, just not even, not even trying to be careful and getting this yellow crap on anything and anything around it. It just, ugh, it's just one of those things that drives you nuts. Just how could they not be the slightest bit careful? But um, there's some rust coming in here, so I pour 15 this, and I want to, I'm probably going to use what little plastic that I have left because I actually want to just paint the little uh, pieces here black because some of it's, like, on this side, you got you got that. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't stand looking at that. And I just want to make the whole thing coherent black to match everything else on the inside. Over here, we got my seats. Um... This was something I sorted on a whim. Uh, I had at one point I had accidentally sprayed um, internal frame coating into the wrong place. Not the wrong place, but I didn't know it would shoot up into my tub. So I had uh, coating all over this, like it just spray over, just because it shot into the inside of the Jeep from the outside. And uh, I sanded that down with some steel wool and painted it. And man, it looks really like I gotta tell you, I really like the way the Dupli color came out here. That's why I want to buy another one. It just goes on really well and looks really nice. I love the uh, the, the kind of matte coating I'm kind of getting there. It's not too glossy, but it's not too matte either. I really like it. And it almost makes the seats look brand new, I gotta tell you. I hit that side. I actually ran out of the Dupli color, so I couldn't finish, but I hit that side. So in my opinion, the seats look really good with this paint on them now. Almost brand new. I also hit my tailgate's uh, striker that goes on the inside. I uh, didn't really need to hit this, but it was kind of chipping on the back, and I pour 15 did, and I decided I'd hit it with Plasti Dip. I only had a little bit of Plasti Dip left, so I just decided to use up the rest of plastic up on this. There's not a big coat in it, so when I put the uh, bolts back on, I'm sure it's gonna twist the paint there. But it's not a big deal, it looks pretty good. It'll, uh, we'll throw it in the back here, and it'll, uh, it, I mean, it is a nicer, the plastic, I like the plastic dip coating on it as opposed to the uh, factory paint, which may have just worn it over time or just looked the way it did always, but it's gonna seam in really nice with all the black bolts and the black plugs. And the uh, last little touch-up thing I did just for looks, was uh, the door strikers for my main doors. I used a little bit of the textured paint on this and then hit it with the Rust-Oleum. And these came out the best, in my opinion. These just came out so nice. It's got a nice textured feel. Kind of, when you're looking at it, kind of goes with the bedline look, and I really like the way these came out. So, yeah, that was just a couple of the little uh, touch-up things I did here and there just to kind of blend in with the bedliner. It really makes the whole inside look very fresh, new. I thought it was uh, also worth noting that I uh, went and replaced all the tape on around here. There was some older, it wasn't even really tape, it was like the factory stuff they roll around and it kind of sticks together and, you know, just holds some of the cords in place, some of the things like that. But um, I just decided to replace some of these because now with the whole thing looking so sleek and nice, any little piece, like like the rubber stoppers, because they're so old, they actually, it's like the oldest looking thing in there, you know what I mean? It's like a blemish on the whole very, very nice looking tub. And uh, the tape was no exception to that, it looked kind of old, so I decided to strip it all out with uh, new electrical tape. And I gotta tell you, when I pulled the old tape off, like I could see the dirt and dust just flying up from it as I pulled it off, each little strip. So yeah, I took those out and replaced them all with new stuff just to make it look a little more sleek and new.